What's going on guys, I'm with Moose and today I'm back on Mutt17 and today we have some really cool stuff that they just released into Ultimate Team, very excited about it and it's going to help everybody whether you just started playing today or whether you've been playing since release day uh, and let's take a look inside and see what we got. I looked on Twitter earlier today, I was just kind of wasting my time, of course the EA servers are not available right now, but I was looking on Twitter and whatnot and just kind of you know messing around and I saw that they had this new stuff in the game and I was super excited, so we'll see if the servers cooperate, if not I'll be back at you guys, but if so, hey, here we go. All right, server's been kind of wonky, but we got through, and uh, let's see what we got. So first up, you guys are going to see we're getting a, a ton of stuff. So you guys will see objective completed, complete sets, objective completed, complete one burn badges set, complete one earn badges set, complete two redemption sets, win solo challenges, get a badge pack for that, win 25 solos, get some coins, more coins, more coins, more coins, tons of stuff, improve overall, get a pro pack, improve to 76 overall, 3,000 coins, get a rookie pack, improve to 74 overall, a ton of stuff you guys are seeing here, a lot of stuff going on, and I'll show you guys exactly how you can earn all this stuff for yourself as well. So if you guys are going to see right here, go down to objectives, and you can see exactly how to get a bunch of this different stuff. So first up, you guys can see, um, improve your team to 86 overall or higher, you get an all pro pack, improve it to 88 overall, you get 3,000 coins and an all pro pack, improve to a 90 overall, which I can do um, easily, I get an all pro pack, and also improve to 92 overall, which I don't actually think I've ever been to 92 overall, but I definitely could be, you guys can see I have a ton of coins, I'm already at 89 overall, and the only reason why I'm not at 91, which is I believe what my normal team is at, is because I've been doing you know a bunch of different solo challenges, a bunch of chemistry solos and stuff, so uh, don't worry about that, I'll be able to get these two done in no problem, um, <clears throat> and I'll probably do them before the end of the video so that I can open that legendary pack for you guys. Now uh, if we move over to RB, you guys can see with solo challenges, there's a bunch of different challenges for these, um, but in addition to the ones that I already, you guys already saw that I got for 25 and 15 solos and stuff, if you win a ton of them, you get a certain amount of coins, so you guys can see right here, um, if I get all these, which I don't really get really what is going on with these, why I didn't earn these yet. Uh, this is win 50 unique solos, earn 1,000 coins, and uh, for 55, 60, and 65, and if you beat all those, then you get a 7 badge pack. I feel like I should have gotten a 7 badge pack, but I don't really know. Uh, just hit A, and uh, I guess there we go. I got some, I got even more. Not even really sure what's going on with these. There's the 5 badge pack, win 40 solos. I guess they're just taking forever to get pushed to your account because you pretty much get one for every single time you um you know get your uh team overall up or complete a solo or stuff like that you pretty much get them all the time which is kind of nuts they're giving you a ton of packs a ridiculous amount of packs actually we'll go back to objectives real quick just a ton of packs ton of different items there's still stuff getting pushed to my account complete one team hero set right there complete a legend set win some solo challenges win more solos win more solos just a ton a ridiculous i can't even describe how many you just like packs and coins and just random stuff they're giving you here, which is just really, really cool. No one really expected this, at least I don't think, um, and I'm very excited about it. So like I said, I'm going to get these two done, and then over here, if we do complete sets, which is the only one I haven't completed besides the improve overall, and the only one I haven't done is complete a Team of the Week set because I've never done it before. Now, I don't really think I'm going to do this just to get this challenge done because you only get 2,500 coins on top of it, and then if you complete all three of these, which is do a team of the week set a legend set and a team hero set then you get 5,000 coins on top of it so it's pretty nice if you've done all these sets before you get a little bonus out of it but I don't think I'm gonna seek out a team of the week set to do just to get these extra 7,500 coins I might do one if I think it's worth it if I think I want the player but I'm not gonna do it just to do that solo challenge or just to do that uh, you know objective set but if you guys are you know want to do it you can but just I guess my two cents is don't do a set just to get this objective done you might as well do it because you want to do the set with the added bonus of getting these objectives done but like I said I will be doing these right now get that legendary pack for you guys and then come back with you guys and open a ton of packs that they just gave us for free alright guys I'm back I just made my team like it normally was but I didn't want to overspend and try to figure out how to get to a 92 overall so I'm gonna kinda let that naturally happen I'm gonna be upgrading my team soon enough over the next couple days so I'll get that done and I'll get that legendary pack and that extra all pro pack for you guys in another video of course now I don't think it's too big a deal obviously you guys know what legendary packs are you know what all pro packs are and we still got a lot to open we still have four all pros five pro packs four rookie packs whatever that is three badge packs uh, or one three badge pack one five badge pack one seven badge pack and I actually had a ten badge pack that I opened by accident that uh, you know I kind of messed that up so <laughs> whatever not a big deal but uh, let's get into it. I think we're going to start with the rookie packs. I'm guessing if these are like rookie packs in the past, it's going to be like two silvers and like a bronze or something like that. But we'll see. 
Got a Hayes Pollard the third, Najee Good, uh, Josh Morrow, got a Damata Pecco, and a Denzel Good. So yeah, these aren't very good. They're basically just silver players, stuff like that. Just nothing too crazy, silver and bronzes. Guys that I'll probably try to use in the Team Hero sets that I need to get done now for um, you know the midseason master set. So that's basically what these guys are going to be for. Nothing too crazy. I'm guessing you can't even really pull anything good. I'm guessing you can't even get like a gold player even if you were lucky. So we'll keep rolling through these. Don't care too much about that, but it is nice. Like I said, it'll help me out get those sets done a little bit faster. Now, we do have three, a three-batch pack, a five-batch pack, and a seven-batch pack. Let's get into those. See what we get. Probably nothing too crazy. Yep, three bronzes from the three-batch pack. I think in my ten-batch pack, I pulled all bronzes except for one gold badge, which I guess is pretty good, but uh, nothing, you know, insane, I guess. So, bronze badge there in the five-batch pack. Hey, two silvers. Not too bad. A little bit <laughs> kind of sad. I'm excited about two silvers. But I'll take it over bronzes any day of the week. And seven badge pack. Give me one gold out of this. That would make my day. Got a silver there, silver there. All right, two silvers, not too bad. Three silvers, four silvers. All right, so over half the pack was silvers, not too bad. So let's get into the good packs, exactly what you guys are looking for. I know it would probably be smart to save these for when, you know, legends are in the game or flashbacks or whatever. But we're going to get into it, open these packs. It's more fun to do it now. And, uh, you know, it's kind of excited that they drop these new objectives into the game. A lot of the ones that, uh, if you've been playing for a while, you've probably already done most of them like I did. Hey, Justin Forsett, not a bad pull at all right there. But, uh, yeah, you've probably done most of them. You don't really have to do much work other than maybe get to that 92 overall if you haven't done that like me. Um, or maybe do a Team of the Week set or something like that. But overall, really not tough to do and, uh, you know, very easy. Even if you're just starting today, those challenges are very easy. And they're going to help you get your team upgraded very, you know, quickly. A lot quicker than uh, you know you would have if you had just started the game right at the beginning, especially if you don't spend money in the game, which is very nice. Elite right here, and we get a Charles Haley collectible. Not too bad, I guess. Better than a normal bronze pull or whatever that would have been. If it was not the collectible, get a Tony Jefferson there. Got another pro pack. I think this is our final one, and then we're moving into all pros. Maybe we got one more. Yeah, we have one more pro pack. Had five of those right there. Got a Jeff Fisher, Harlan Miller. Got a Rams uniform. Luke Jokel is an insert, and then Jordan Cameron will be our actual gold card. So I'll take that two golds. Like I was mentioning with the rookie packs, I'll take that. Always need cards for those uh, Team Hero sets. So going to be excited about that. Got a Phillip Rivers there. Kind of surprising. He's only a 79 overall. Dude has been a very solid quarterback throughout his entire career. And, um, you know, <laughs> I feel kind of bad for the Chargers. Every single person on their team just gets whacked with injuries. But we got an all-pro pack. Let's get into it. Four of these bad boys. Going to give us 12 gold players or better. Hopefully at least one elite player out of these. Got a Jimmy Smith right there. What else are we going to get? Got a Charles Leno Jr. Never even heard of that dude. Will Compton. Where are our gold pulls? Hopefully elite pulls. Got a Kyle Williams. Final card. Elite. Not quite. Got an Orlando Scandrick though. Not too bad. Played a pretty good year so far. Uh, heard at the beginning of the year, but overall not too bad at all. Got an Anquan Bolden to start off this one. Jason Witten. There we go. Another Cowboys player. And also Ben Smawaya. Not too bad at all. Got a lot of Cowboys love as, of course, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Very excited about that. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Um, not sure if I'm going to have a video for, for you guys tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, but it should be a fun slate of games in, in, in the NFL. And obviously, I'm excited to see what the Cowboys can do against the Redskins and see if they can win. There we go. We got an elite. Evan Math is not too bad. Also has the zone run chemistry, which honestly is not that great of a chemistry, but I do need it for the solo challenges. So I'll take that. It's a guy I don't have to buy. And uh, I'll definitely take that. Also, Bradford having Vert is very nice. So be aware of that. If you guys get players that even if they're not that good, obviously Evan Math is an elite player. That's always good. But even if the players aren't that good on their face, they might be good because of the chemistry that they provide. Got a Charles Sims there, Ryan Clady, and also Corey Coleman. I guess that's not too bad. Also, the Swap Outsider Collectible, which is the third time I've pulled it this week. Kind of insane. I had never pulled one of these before a video uh, earlier in the week, and then I got two of them. And um, I guess I'll take it. I mean, they actually sell for like 10 to 15K, which is kind of ridiculous. Still think this is a stupid way to run the Football Outsiders promo, but we're going to leave it at that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And let me know if you're excited for these new objectives and how many of them you had already done. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.